Welcome to Lore Hero, episode 19. We are back and we have a lot of stuff to share with you. A lot of stuff just a happened. Lot. Literally for us last night. <laughs> Big stuff yeah. happened. February 16th, 2024 will be the day that we all remember. Uh, if you are a Milo Hex enjoyer such as I and all of us. Uh, how are we doing, fellas? Having a good day so doing far. Good. Oof, so good much day. to talk about. Yeah, Indeed, so. I feel like I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> well, we'll be we'll begin with the biggest news that has hit the rock band slash Milo hacks slash preservation scene in three years plus. Uh, that is Rock Band Three Debug has been found, dumped, preserved, and is currently being dug through by dozens of people to find all the cool things, what could be helpful, um, all sorts of different things. So. Who wants to who wants to tell the story about how this all went down? Oh yeah, I was gonna say like yeah, we could talk about like the whole group by server that we had. Yeah, now that's over. Yeah, yeah, and even before so, that, we, we got yeah, before, yeah, before we even get to the group by, we got fucking Rock Band Two debug a couple yeah, weeks yeah, back, yeah. and that just kind of flew under the radar because there's even bigger news coming out that we might have a Rock Band Three debug on the way. Yeah, like so we, originally we were saying. Um, yeah, no, no, I was I was just gonna say just. When we saw Rock Band Two Debug got released, like apparently there were judgments within within the game, like they with the debug just, yeah. on screen, it's crazy. Like you could see the notes getting hit, and there was like a, was a millisecond, cool. there was like a millisecond value judging yeah, like you, pl plus ten milliseconds or minus fifteen milliseconds of how yeah. accurate you hit the note. Which I mean, every game has had that, but. I mean, it's never been implemented in such a way like Festival does, where you get like bonus Festival. points for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. perfect. It, every game kind of like. It has to do those internal calculations, right, to see if you even yeah. missed or, or hit a note or whatever. But it's never. Yeah, I like, think like it's never. I shown think it's not surprising that it's in there, but it was very cool to see it. Yeah, um, yeah. See it displayed on the screen in real time. It, and yeah, it and cool. not to not also um, to not mention that debug mode will, can immensely help with like the modding scene and people who just want to put throw new shit into the game. And That's why it's it as big of a deal as it is. Yeah. Yeah. No. So it can continue breathing life into the deluxe mods but when it comes to rock band 3 though you know milo hacks has been just going all in on rock band 3 deluxe and all the features for it and there's just it, it literally runs perfectly on almost any platform that you throw it on um it's and, truly a great piece of work yeah and so when we first heard about the ebay listing about the wii the debug we or the dev uh the dev kit we were just like bro uh, R -R we need to secure this i think it's called an rvth we which is used internally for development mm -hmm. yeah right. so 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 this the the series of events were um there was a user in milo hacks called glitch god okay he was in contact with another guy called um we curious on discord uh who had come into come into the possession of a rock band 2 debug uh, executable. So he had Rock Band 2 debug on a on a dev kit, a Wii dev kit, and um, Glitch got it was like, hey, can you dump that? <laughs> Didn't expect much out of it because a lot of times people that are in this like development kit space or whatever are kind of protective over what they have. They don't like to share, like, yeah. No, because, because what they because have it is incredibly what rare they have. and value. Yeah, yeah, exactly, devalues. it devalues what they have because if if I have a console that it, like the perhaps the only surviving console that has these in development um, game builds. Nobody else has that. I'm the only one in the world that might have that. Mm, that's Obviously, money. Obviously, that's money, Big baby. eBay.com. Yeah. Let somebody so else that buy it guy... that wants to dump it. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Oh, you yeah. want this? Fork over 750 bucks. It's yours then. You can do whatever you want. Yep. That's what people do in this space. But luckily, this guy here was super generous and was like, here, this is yours. From me to you, here is the debug build. And it was like, This is wow. a game from 2008. And yeah, so he just had a debug build of it. Never surfaced on the internet and was just like, here you go. Unheard yeah. of. What's the story of this console? Who is who has held on to this? Is it this guy? Did this guy come into come into possession to it recently? Where's it been? Who's had this and why have you been hoarding it? That's all I want to know about all these things that always come out. Who has had this? Where has it been? Like, What's the story of the console? I think it's just like I think it's just because we're such in a in a deep corner of the fucking internet. Yeah. Too. It's just like you don't expect people to be very passion about something where your mind is set uh eons elsewhere you know what i mean it's hey, it's like it's like yeah hey i have this Wii from a buddy or well, whatever he he so, offloaded it to me but i knew it was a dev kit and all this stuff but i didn't realize that it was holding this well i didn't just realize it, it 
So, um, the developer for the port of Rock Band 2 to the PS2 and Wii is a company Pie? called Pi Studios. Um, they, they went defunct in 2011, but this mm. Wii was most likely owned by Pi Studios, and they used it for development. So the, Actually, if they went defunct. This probably just got auctioned off. Like at, yes. at some sort of liquidation. This is how sale. all these leak is the assets get liquidated and auctioned. Which this is how these things that yeah. should be handled, I believe. You know, I believe dev kits yeah. are, are supposed they're, they're to be returned to be back to like They're supposed Nintendo to be either returned or, or destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. So the you fact that any of these thing... exist in the first place is illegal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is um this is the same way that, that Guitar Hero eight guitar um yeah. got sold on eBay. I was oh, so yes. close to the buying strings. that shit. Guitar Hero Seven by the the strings. The Yamaha. Guitar Hero Seven, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Guitar Hero Phoenix developed by Vicarious Visions, pitched yeah. in two thousand ten or pitched in 2011, something like that, and failed. But, yeah, I was I'm this close sure, to buying uh, that fucking six-string guitar. I was going to say, I don't know if people that? have... Yeah, I've, I've got the picture, picture right here. I've got yeah, the, I was just going to get some pictures, yeah, too. That's yeah, that's it. That's, oh, sweet, that's sweet, the sweet, guitar. Sweet. That's the guitar that I almost got in 2018. And I got yep, sniped it's got a, my hands. It's got a purple fret that doesn't work. The sixth fret. Just, just in case sixth people wonder, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Sixth yeah, fret, sixth Apparently, it doesn't even press down. Yeah, it doesn't press down. It's it's cosmetic. It's purely cosmetic. But yeah. it looks That's really awful. clean on there. That little, that fucking purple button God. is so cursed, man. This is what it we could have had, guys. I mean, it probably would have sucked ass. That's why it got canceled. But this is I would have rather had six inline frets than two rows of three on Guitar Your Life, yeah. personally. Yeah. 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 That makes it, it makes the yellow ridge just so much funnier, though. Yeah, it does, <laughs> because it just it doesn't make any sense <laughs> That ridge anymore. is yeah. not doing anything at no. all. No <laughs> way. It's think just of like, that. Hey, that's where you are on the on the frets. You you still got one more. You got to reach over one more, bro. So but still. Could you, could you imagine what we'd be doing with, like, Clone Hero Customs and Tapping Tech if we had six inline frets? Oh, I, don't, I don't even want to think about it. Like, like, honestly, <laughs> the exact same shit that we have now. Yeah. Except but just with the six fret. fret. With an extra yeah. fret. Dude. Yeah. It'd be it so raises cool. the skill. It raises the skill ceiling if we did yeah. that. Big but does, if we yeah. ever see, if we ever do see a new Guitar Hero, maybe they'll do something new. I just don't think it'll ever happen because that means an entire new set of controllers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All that's... legacy ones are just defunct. You can't use them. Yeah. Sorry. And people already got so pissed about GH Live guitars and having to rebuy. Right. I mean, do yeah, we need to change man? the whole change the whole ecosystem? It was dumb. Yeah. It was just yeah. stupid. You know, it was a they should have added the attempt. backward compatibility mode. That would have that would have helped that game out quite a lot. If they had we six, would, we would still have charts. we would still have freestyle games. Yeah, oh, we'd be yeah. playing we it. Five, five, we'd probably uh, still yeah, be you know what? It. No, we we de yeah, we would probably still be playing Guitar Your Live. If yeah. it had a five fret mode, fuck yeah, had a five 100%. fret mode for sure. Yeah, and you know what? Technically, there is a five fret mode. It's called playing on advanced mode. Hey, that shut is. up, man. Yeah, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> you, can, you can use five fret guitars on on fucking Xbox 360 and play yeah. GH Live, and only the first five frets would work, but they would work in the game. It's funny. I oh. did not know that actually. That's fucked. That would be I don't so like cursed, that. though. That'd be tough to learn. It would yeah. be. It was specifically the 360 version. Did not work on Xbox One, PS4. Wow, hmm. I did not know that either. Probably works on the There's PS3 version new too. Every day. Every day. Um, Anyways. You know what? I should check that out. I, I Because you PS3. can on our PCS3. Okay, yeah. yeah. I found Maybe my PS3, enough. and so I might just... I might hook that thing up, just make it a badass, like, PS2 Plus or something. Hey, since we're talking about PS3, this is out of order, but um, today, um, there it was found in the World Tour Definitive Edition Discord, there is a, uh, a Beatles Rock Band um, debug disc on eBay right now. Um, yeah, there's... it's allegedly debug test prototype, but the guy who's selling it uh, found no way to like access anything debug on it, so it's more than likely retail. Allegedly, this disc is sent off to like reviewers and um, people like that, game testers or whatever. Uh, it says it says uh, August nineteenth, oh nine. That's literally a month before release. Yeah, August oh. 9th, yeah, not even a month. Oh, so wait, wait, like a wait, wait, no, weeks. June 29th. Yeah. There's June 29th. The, the build that. is from June 29th. That's the final build, but I'm guessing that this was sent out on that date or whatever for a review yeah. or re but yeah there's two dates on there and it's for the UK so that's yucky too um, let's but... not gloss over the fact <laughs> that it's called it's called Rock Band Project 9 because Bro, they Emma really wanted the they, they really wanted to keep this shit on the wraps they that's really so wanted amazing. to keep Project Beatles on the wraps Rock Band yeah. Project 9 yeah. Project it's located 9 in, it's located oh, in the wow. Netherlands for some reason but, so it says, right. it says yeah. um, in the description PS3 test discs like this were normally destroyed after use 
There's a good chance this unusual and collectible item could be the last surviving copy on the planet. Yep. This will not work on the it standard PS3. Is. It needs to be a dev kit. Um, I have checked this game on a PS3 test console. The game disc is clearly used. has some light scuffs on surface where it works perfectly, though. It's honestly not. It's not being sold for a high price. It it just isn't. No, well, not yet. It it just got yet. put up recently. It is. It's for bids. It's not buy it now. So this will probably get still. Bid up, but I mean, even if there's nothing cool on this disc, if it is actually like retail, no debug, it's just a cool thing yeah. to have. It yeah. is. Yeah, I, I think I think Milo like Hacks will it. definitely try to <clears throat> obtain it as well. So no, I, I, know, I, I Jane has already said that he wants it. The yeah. similar sponsored items. I see someone selling a Wii U for five hundred dollars. Five hundred. Yep. Oh, sorry, Scott. Three ninety eight, three ninety eight plus thirty five shipping. What a risk! So Scott the Waz is so excited kit? after you said that. It's it. No, it's just a Wind Waker <laughs> bundle. Oh, boring. There's nothing like. There's nothing like even crazy about this. Anyway, yeah, that's it's cool. Rare that, that this fucking disc. There's actually a bunch of other debug discs in here too. Army oh, of I have, two. I haven't looked Skate at his other two? other list. What oh, the what fuck? The guy's Skate two. Yo, this guy's got a treasure. This trove. guy's got a lot. This guy oh, Skate, Skate two. 1945. This guy's probably been okay. So, the, so this dude was a game reviewer back in the late 2000s, and he just didn't okay. play by the rules. He just didn't. He just destroy kept it. his shit. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, Which a lot of Glenn, been Glenn, Euros in 20 years. Glenn Gormley. Glenn Gormley. <laughs> hey, don't 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 start doxing this fella. That's 1945. His maybe he's 70 years old. 80 years old. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh my God. World War II ended 80 years ago almost. Yeah, that's, no, that's really cool. Yeah, it, it, it's the beauty of preservation, right, guys? Like, there's no reason, no reason that history like this shouldn't be at least, you know, give it like a like a 15 year grace period or a 10 year grace period, and then just be like, okay, there you go. Yeah, you can, that shit you know. does not matter after 15 years. I mean, nobody's talking yeah. about this. This shit matters to nobody except for the very, very, very small people like us. That really yes. enjoy this shit. The unbelievable and, and, diehards. It is such a treat. <clears throat> such a treat a to see all this stuff. With in a niche. Within a well, niche. Within a niche. Within a niche. It's, yeah. it's like we, three levels. There's levels to this shit, man. Definitely. Like, it's, <sighs> it's funny, too, because so the whole catalyst of the Deluxe Projects, for people who don't know, um, was due to Proje Project Deluge, which is a big effort by Hidden Palace. Um, for those who don't know who Hidden Palace is, Hidden Palace has been around for a long time. It was started by an individual known as DRX, and... They have very uh, close ties originally with the Sonic community. They were the ones to dump the very famous uh, Simon Y build of Sonic 2 that was stolen from Toy Fair. <laughs> it was stolen. They, they hey, who's to say? They didn't right? steal that, those it. are just allegations. Yeah. I mean, come on, you can't prove yeah. that. <laughs> but it it was stolen, and so but they they you know they they did a group buy or whatever, got their hands on it, and um. Project Deluge basically started because an individual who used to do reviewing for a gaming outlet, we don't know which one, they've they've remained anonymous because they they, they provided should. a lot of, they provided a lot of stuff and I wouldn't like want the people, builds I wouldn't want people PS2 to know alone. who I was either. I wouldn't want people to know. And DRX as well as uh, Jason from Text Files helped them dump everything. And as far as we know, they're not done either. As far as we know, Project Deluge isn't even over yet. This happened they in just, 2021. It, it became yeah. public. Yeah, they've been like, working on it for like over a year, ago. dumping. Yeah, they've been working yeah. on it for a while because there were so many builds of games. And one when when I first because I, I follow Hidden Palace very closely. Like I I love when prototypes come out. I think it's amazing. I I just love seeing the history of game development and like yeah, too, what developers are thinking. What gets cut from a game? When? Why did they decide to cut it? Because so much shit gets cut from games, you know? Dude, it's like so, that crash really. that crash Spyro racing yeah. game. Yeah. That whole yeah, like, video. That, that like whole that was just a, like insane. that was a pitch. Like, yeah. So and, and it got leaked on a dev build. And it, uh, yeah, it got by, leaked on an Xbox dev kit. Yeah. Yeah. From a from so, another ra another racing game developer at the time. So, so it's the just last, it's just like, so cool. The last big release that Hidden Palace did before Project Deluge, I'm pretty sure, was the Sonic 1 beta. That that was a really big deal. They found the beta build of Sonic the Hedgehog 1, which was considered, like, the holy grail. Um, and all of a sudden, Hidden Palace makes an announcement like, hey, uh, we're just going to casually drop, like, 700-plus prototypes next week. Why don't you come watch the stream? So, I post a Milo Hacks. This is a Milo Hacks 1.0 before the nuke, right? 
Yes. This um, is, I what a time. I, I, it <laughs> a it was a lot time. quieter over there at this point. Milo Hacks was way quieter, and I just posted like. Like, oh, hey, like, apparently they're going to be releasing, like, a bunch of PS2 games. That would be really cool if, like, a Guitar Hero game was in here. And so we're we all like, oh. We didn't get just one. <laughs> no, we did not get just one. We're like, oh, this could be really cool. And then finally, the stream ends, and they're like, all right, we're going to publish, like, a, a base article, like, empty articles for, like, everything that's about to be dumped. And Yeah, like, it was, like, a preview multiple... of what, what's all there, and they're uploading yeah. it in that moment. So you can so see we everything look, we that look will up be Guitar there Hero. as it's coming up. We look up Guitar Hero and there's more than one entry for a Guitar Hero game, which is like, what the hell, right? We're like, so everybody's freaking out at this point. So we're all staying up really late watching Jason from Text Files stream, watching the list of the games go down for the uploads. And finally, we see Guitar Hero 1 and Guitar Hero Rocks of the 80s. We finally see it. And then Moose, because, because Jake used to be a big night owl before he had a day job. Yes. He stayed up that whole night. Waiting for it to be uploaded, and the moment he was able to download it, he he went live on Twitch and fucking played, and he was like, "Oh my god, like not true, this is crazy, this is crazy." The undercharted bark at the moon, like, not even true. What happened was Kev Kev two two seven went live. Yes, Kev went with live, his, and yeah, uh, yeah. he played. He had to go to bed. He got through like three or four tiers of this Katari one prototype. He he gave me his save, and then I loaded his save on my PCSX two. Started the stream off with his save, and I continued out the the save file to show every song. So Kev started it, I finished it, and then we yeah. got to show every song. It was very so but cool. getting the getting the bark at the moon was, I think, like the biggest what the fuck moment, you know? Yeah, because and, it was uh, like Cowboys holy shit, like they un unnerved too. like. They 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 nerfed yeah unnerfed they cowboys nerfed. from hell and yeah, also they Gur hella nerfed Gurney. those charts man who the fuck Gurney. is Gurney yeah Gurney. Gurney Gurney we got Graveyard we got we got Gurney. we got advanced harmony which is an old version of triplet triplet we got yeah, sounds, we got graveyard totally shift it's completely different yeah it's in a more primitive state and fire um, up is terrible oh fire yeah. up fired is up fucking is weird really bad you can tell that and they were just learning how to chart this shit on the fly they had no mm -hmm. idea what they were doing yet because it's the first we, we, we game. got a bunch of like prototype assets it wasn't the rainbow build that like the holy grail but it's okay that, because yeah, it was a be holy, holy enough grail, grail. this is, this is a build, build we didn't Guitar even think no, existed no vocals um, on spanish castle magic still we didn't get nope. that even though we really wanted yeah, to yeah i don't know if we're ever going to get that but it could be cool to see it's it it's in the binder man it's in the binder any harmonics people watching this right now hey you know what to do yeah we have an email we have an email we'll keep it anonymous just saying. Can get, yeah. <laughs> Can we get Rock Band 4 PC as well? Rock Band 4 so PC, um, Guitar Hero uh, E3, uh, Guitar Hero 2 E3, anything pre-release, anything. Uh, yes, just, please. Let, just let us know. Hit us just up. let us know. Guitar <laughs> Hero yeah, 3, so Shred Apocalypse, please. Shred Apocalypse. Oh, man. That would be nice. Pearl Jam Rock Band? Pearl Jam oh, Rock Band. Oh, Pearl Jam Band. Rock Band? Give me that we shit. We know it exists. We know it existed, so. But yeah, so we got Guitar Hero 1, and then we also got Guitar Hero 80s. Um, yeah, and, and, and before had, we that, before we knew what was in there, we were like, "Oh, what if it's the I want candy build?" Because and, and, and then lo and behold, was, baby, I want candy was supposed play. to be in the game, but was mysteriously missing from the from the final release. But then yep. we found out it existed just barely before release, like weeks before and, release. It got it got cut, and because it's midnight, it was properly tiered. Yeah, it was we, in tier two. Or no, uh, but it was the bonus it tier. It was not tier two. It was not tier two. It wasn't, it was yeah, it wasn't in tier two. Like it retail. wasn't a tier two. But and it wasn't it had, charted. It had placeholder chart. But the whole the most, reasoning for that, wasn't it that the song was removed and because it's midnight was replacing the original song that was supposed yeah. to be there? Yeah. 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 yeah when when Iron Candy was removed. Right. Yeah. When yeah, so when so you it was originally beat game. the game, when you originally beat the game on the prototype, it's like, congrats, you have unlocked you know how on Guitar Year oh, 2 yeah, it's like, there's congrats, a, yeah, there's a whole congrats thing. you unlocked the log um on Guitar Year Two. Instead on on uh, on eighties prototype it was like congrats you have unlocked limousines because it's midnight and yeah, so that was gonna be, that's that. like the novelty 80s song and then it was supposed to be like impossible but then it infamously got placed into tier two which, which i think no honestly sense. honestly i think that's better than it being a novelty shit post impossible song it's, it's funnier this just, way yeah if you throw it into an encore in tier two, it's just like, what the what fuck? What the hell was that? What the actual? I fuck? think yeah. Every everybody was like, why is this in tier two? Like, why is this yeah. here? <laughs> yeah, well, we yeah, got we got, got the next tier starts out with like holy diver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, what the fuck did the I just warrior. play? It's like, huh? Yeah. 
It's they, gonna they get they harder than this. They definitely did yeah. not give a fuck with Aiden. No, they didn't like, care because they were like, they were like, "This is our last game. We just want to make rock band game. already." That was, their, that was their contractual obligations game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, it, it was. Yeah. It hundred percent was. But yet, uh, we got we got a debug executable out of that Project Deluxe stuff, and that's how GH2 yes. Deluxe started. Actually, because they that were, was the biggest thing. The biggest with, thing with from a, this whole Deluxe with a thing. debug executable for people that don't really understand like how the development of stuff works. Um, people were able to change things in GH2. And if it, if the game crashed, they knew why. Knowing why, it, it would tell them what crashed and why things. it crashed. Exactly. Before having so a debug, if it crashed, you're just like, hmm, wonder what made that happen. Let's go change just, this. Let's go you, reverse you just have that to change. Keep and work. Shit. Yeah, yeah, it's tr trial and error. But this is no longer trial and error. It, it's try something, it's, and yep. oh, this is what the error was, and this is how I can fix it. Right? It tells you what to do essentially if you know what you're talking about. Dude, it, like, it really makes me want to get into into like understanding that stuff, because yeah, that's um, beyond me. It's it beyond, beyond me, me as well. But I know, I know, I know, like kind of what that was like. Like, you you remember when uh, Rock Band audition mode customs were a thing? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So when you would build songs in there, and it would spit out a bunch of errors and be like, "There's an," it'd be like, "Oh, there's something wrong with this mid this part of the MIDI," and like it would give you everything that was wrong. When you're trying to build the RBA file for it, and so I'd like go in and like fix that shit. That's how I got into like working with Reaper and mm -hmm. and charting in Reaper and stuff like that. Like I understood what. Hey, this is what this evaluation copy, bro. You gotta like, pay for this. Shit. Yeah, evaluation. Oh yeah, yeah, evaluation <laughs> copy. Nah, but like that that type of stuff is like super duper helpful. I can't even imagine it in game development, um, or someone Not just trying that. to poke poke yeah. poke around, um, you know, seeing what the fuck works and what doesn't. Right, it's yeah, and now Guitar Hero Two Deluxe is basically like feature complete. It's like entirely yeah. done. Yeah, like yeah, I don't think anything else is being done with Guitar Hero. There's really not much right else now. to There's do with nothing this. Else to do. Just a yeah. complete. Project, they added fucking right? drums to the game. Like yeah, <laughs> they, like what? They added drums <laughs> to the game. What else That's can so you do? Wild. I think the last thing that they're probably gonna do is like add forcing uh, of notes. But cool. yeah. that that had that has been yet. To I be I, w I would really love to see that. Like I I would really like to see that be in Guitar Hero too. That would be awesome. I would really like that. But like Janak that. almost yes. got hammer on chords working, but it 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 fucked the hit detection a lot. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. So yeah bad. It, it turned it he into drum fucking, mode. He was fucking using AI to do this shit, and it just worked. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Janak was just like ask. Janak will ask ChatGBT for pointers and kind of start from there. It's been super that's helpful. How, that, that's how overlapping yeah. star power got figured out. He asked. Wait, oh he yeah, asked no, yeah, GPT. overlapping yeah. star power. Yep, he was just he was just asking ChatGBT questions, setting up like a little, setting up like a foundation for him. Be like, okay, I'm working with this, this, and this. Can you tell me in this term how how this can make sense or how I can make this happen? Like it was, it was insane. It was a crazy couple and it of days. Figured it, it figured out, and it just worked. It, it wasn't it perfect, worked. but it worked. It was a the very good foundation. He, yeah, the fact that he could just tell an AI chatbot a prompt about, "Hey, I have this game development issue that I'm having. Figure it out for me, please." And it does it. Uh, that was a year and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. Do it today. It <laughs> like, makes my brain melt a bit, like legitimately. Insane. Yeah. Oh I mean, God. I think we all saw it. This is this might be old news at this point by the time that the, this goes live. But this last week, there was um, open oh, AI about just Sora? unveiled. Yeah, they unveiled their new text to video AI called yeah. Sora. No, that's fucking <laughs> Sora insane. makes me freak the fuck out. No, did you Sora's did you see the freaked out? Did you see the Minecraft yeah, like, one? It's fucking yes. like ARG. It's like yeah. an ARG. I <laughs> it's say. like. I saw a tweet. Hold on, real, real quick, Jason. I saw a tweet. that was like, "This is like the kind of like copyright-free um, ripoff of a game you see like in a TV show." <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, like Violent Hero, a certain <laughs> game. Yeah, like Violent Hero, yeah, fucking yeah, Carly. Yeah. It's that type beat. I don't like it at all. I've already had someone tag me and say they're gonna make Alec and I wear maid outfits. Don't like I it. Don't. Nope. Nope. No, uh, no, uh -uh. nope. Uh, my my favorite thing that come consent. out of it was like me sitting, me sitting in court watching a video of something, me doing something <laughs> I didn't do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the, but and the I was just like, is right there, it's very convincing. I, I, and that moment, I was like, man, it's it's actually so we're over. cooked. We're over. Hey, it's actually so over. so over, dude. It's already it's already generating Minecraft footage, right? Yeah. W what about hey? Put out a Soulless 4 FC in Fortnite Festival. I thought, wait, I thought that was a, I thought that was a funny. 
Was that actually That was a real, thing? bro. No, that was real. Minecraft the thing Minecraft was real. Thing? Yeah, because no, if you, it fucking wasn't. It was real. If you, if, you no, pay, if you pay attention to the clouds, they're real clouds. Like, they, they are put, not pixelated like they used to be. But you can yeah. mod it. You can mod it. I thought that was Look a funny. Look at the pig. Look at the pig. Look at the pig. It, it has it like, it has some like telltale signs of like AI generated stuff still. Bro, it's I'm real. What the fuck? It's, I'm not. It's, it's, I'm like 99 percent sure it's real. I'll leave out. I'll leave one percent in case I'm getting pranked. But I think it nah, was real. Nah, dude. No. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Fuck this shit. It's that. This has to be just a funny. There's no way. There's no way. That's so dude, funny. Yo, he, look at his three swords. The stack of three swords. Yeah. 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 Do you yeah. think someone edited that with a joke? I. He does have a stack of three swords. What the fuck? I didn't see that. It's gotta be, it's gotta be stupid for the bit. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. <laughs> There's no way. I don't. I don't believe it. I don't believe it, man. That's so funny. I just. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm ready to no, see the Guitar very... Hero footage where someone grows an extra I, yeah, finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because AI is is like historically very bad with like fingers with hands in, in particular. We yeah. might be yeah. bad there's like, a, there's like a clip of like a, a some puppies playing together, right? And they're just yeah. like they're just like going, they're just like fucking clipping through each other. Well, yeah, somebody somebody super, was like was like dark. AI has the object permanence of like a like a like a newborn, pretty much. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Like playing like playing peekaboo with a newborn, you know? Like no, <laughs> absolutely. In that, in that like, one, oh my god, uh, he's gone. Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> well, in that in that one promo video of like people walking through like the streets of Japan or whatever, there's like cherry blossom trees or whatever. If you watch closely, there's like those people walking along that small sidewalk. They walk into like this small little like um, like tent type thing. They just fall through the floor. Like yeah. they just disappear. Like it, unless you're watching super closely, you won't notice it. But like, you can tell it's AI generated if you have a very keen eye for this stuff. But if you like, if you're watching it on your phone just casually, it's night and day. It's not night well, and day different. Me, like it, it is the gonna, exact same as real life as far as anything else is concerned. They're gonna Ooh. have to make. They're gonna have to make AI watch AI videos to tell you if it's AI generated. This is what's gonna happen uh, at this point. Yeah, like, <laughs> I mean. If you go watch that video of folks walking down the street, one of the telltale signs, and it's, it's so uncanny once you notice it. Everybody, I just saw them fall through the fucking floor. every single person there is walking at the same speed. Yes, they're oh, really? the same speed. Yes, that's another thing. It's so mm. creepy. <laughs> Y'all, just... y'all got stuck in the same walk animation or whatever. And then like the the, oh. the video of like the video of like the cat waking up its owner in bed and like the owner's like oh, yeah. this area of their nose is like super red for some reason. Yeah. Like it may, I was like, what the heck is happening? And there was um It's it's icky. It's icky. I don't like it. <laughs> creeps me out, dude. Oh. Yeah, it's creepy. I just lost my thought. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. It's okay, we're about to lose our careers to this too. So Yeah, yeah pretty Probably. much. Oh, it's yeah. an election year. Oh, we have like oh, we have like oh, ten months to go oh, until the man. election, baby. Think of the Don't shit that this thing me. could produce. We I are in know, a new man. age of misinformation. Yeah. If we if we see Taylor Swift dancing in a diaper, uh, you know, in front of a burning cross, <laughs> then maybe things will get done. I mean, that's just what she does on a regular Tuesday. But what what about <laughs> yeah. what about this AI thing, though? She probably did that before <laughs> the Super Bowl. <laughs> it probably did. That's I would, wouldn't put a pastor. Don't come after yeah. the Swifties. That's a clear, clear and obvious joke. Joe, you're, make, you're making a, you're making a big, you're you're making a big mistake right now. Been doxed, <laughs> bro. I'm sorry. I this is my IP sick. address. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna make the fucking the, the AI Whopper commercial. Your location is. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so funny. <laughs> and, and then it's like it's like reading out Walt Jr.'s address. You live at 803 Negro Arroyo Lane. There's a pizza on your roof <laughs> from Breaking Bad. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to let's get back to brass tacks, gentlemen. Okay. Lots of good stuff still to talk about. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so we hardly even touched on the Rock Band three debug at this point. We we yeah uh, because we, we were we, laying we, the we groundwork. Had to, we had to give context as to like how this kind of. Yes, and all that context, place, guess, you know? all that context is very important to, to to get to where we we're going because previously the, the 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 biggest day in Milo Hacks history in rock band preservation history, Guitar Hero rock band preservation, was March twenty first, twenty twenty one. That's when that whole Project Deluge, uh, hidden hidden palace thing released. That's when the whole world changed. Also, quick side note: that same day, unrelated to all this stuff, GMS, Generic Mad Scientist, uh, yes. figured out uh, yes. <laughs> how to break the strum limit on uh, Guitar Hero two. He, yes. he figured that it out ha- on his own. That accord. happened earlier in the day before we knew Project Deluge was happening. Try yeah, that. 
So so that whole yeah. thing it just kind of compounded on each other. It's like, oh, this is the biggest and best day ever. It, it'll never get better than this. Mm-hmm. And now it has. Until now! <laughs> until now, it got better than this. February 16th, 2024 is the new biggest day. Hey, in my bro, $36. $36. $36. $36. That's what we, we, set up, we set up a group by, we all, like, uh, there was, like, what, like, 15 people or something? We all threw in $36 each. Yeah, because, yeah. okay, we saw the bid go up for it, and it was already... Like reaching like fucking four hundred dollars, and we're it was like, at six hundred when I saw it last. Like five yeah. days before it was gonna, it and was we're like six, we six days. Yeah. It was, was listed like, like that same days. day. It got bid up to yeah. six hundred bucks, and we're like, oh dear God, what are we gonna do? So like, well, I, I was already like ready to just be like, I'll give out a hundred dollars. We need to yep. make sure this is preserved. I also yep. That's essentially what we all did. Well. We're all like, okay, yeah. we're all like, throwing we're money. We're throwing money. And how many getting approved like two thousand dollars? How many like fifty were in that server? Yeah, and if we're all gonna commit, you know, like fucking fifty, a hundred dollars or something, we were gonna secure that thing no matter what. But thankfully, it did not take long, and it wasn't that much. Thirty six dollars, and, there, and there, so there were some troll bids, but those got re- those got redacted. So we yeah. we, we we lucked yeah. out. Well, and speaking of redacted bids, there was another person who was bidding against us. Um, yes. Who had no 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 care in the world for Rock Band three? They just wanted a development rock uh, a development de- 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 we they wanted a we developer <laughs> kit. And, uh, Nicely said. We. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I, you know I'm a wordsmith. So they well, they only wanted the we. They had no care in the world about Rock Band, but we, all we want is a Rock Band. So we kind of joined forces. So we, we joined const- forces. We constructed that guy out. to be like, hey, get in on this group by you. You want the we? You can have the we. We don't want it. Uh, he put in. Um, a larger sum of money than the rest of us, but then the rest of us put in the remainder of what um, the the final bid was minus that other guy's contribution, and then divided amongst ourselves. That's how we got to the thirty six dollars a piece thing. Um, I, I forget the final price. I want to say six hundred ninety dollars. Yeah, I think it was like six ninety to seven hundred. That's a fucking W for what we yeah, got. Yeah, which what? Wow. which we were we were worried it was going to be like we were worried it was going to be like over like twelve hundred or something. Like we were very concerned about the price. Going up mm-hmm. higher and higher, Man, but what we, we a got fucking W though. We got very lucky because we we like we we put in an effort to keep things quiet. So like an Alex Discord server, for example, somebody posted about it. I went in, I, I DM'd them, and I was like, "Don't post about that." Like we have it. Like I deleted yeah, their message. The I was like, "Yeah, we." I was like, "I was like, we're gonna get this, and it's gonna be out for the community, but people cannot know right now because collecting like 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 Alec was saying earlier, and Jake was saying earlier, like." Shit gets really weird with development stuff. Shit gets really weird with prototypes. Like, you do not want that news to go into the wrong hands because they will fuck you over. They just will. Mm-hmm. Like, the Guitar Hero 7 guitar, it, you know? Like, yeah. it went into the hands of a private collector who has no intentions of sharing it with the community. They yeah, when you find shit like this, it is in your best interest to shut the fuck up about it and just bid yeah. yourself. Just fu- yep. just get it yourself. Don't tell anybody because it's a cutthroat little little industry here. Like you the know, GHB, you know. don't tell anybody. Greedy. Yeah, don't, don't tell, tell anybody about, about the arcade, arcade guitar. guitar. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Keep yeah. that shit to, to walk yourself. away with cool shit for seventy dollars. Yeah, I got, I mean? do, you, do you want it? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> when I got my GH3 demo kit, I didn't tell anybody I was buying that. I was like, yeah, oh my shut god, shut the fuck up about yeah. it. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to uh, broadcast that this. There's this cool thing that I'm buying. Please don't outbid me. No, <laughs> tell, of course not. Tell people. Tell people when it's dumped and be like, I didn't tell you for your own good until now. Yeah, get the shit and then broadcast it. But anyways, like Hidden Palace, of... Hidden Palace didn't announce Deluge for two years because they were just yeah. dumping everything behind the scenes. Yeah, they had to keep that on the wraps old. for a very long time. Yeah, and and they sh- well, I guess they, they didn't have to keep it under wraps, but they they wanted a good finished product, and that's what they delivered. They did a very they, good otherwise job. Be like, hey guys, yeah. we got we have a thousand different builds here, and we and haven't documented like, a single thing about them. <laughs> yeah, and the people are like, well, yeah. where are they? What did you get? Yeah, it'd be like it'd be like a strike line situation. Oh, oh, Jesus! Ooh, 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 oh, sorry, ooh. <laughs> didn't mean to throw shit Dime. like that. <laughs> wow, throwing daggers, <laughs> dude. Yeah, moving forward. Uh, so, so th- this we, uh, to our knowledge, all we knew uh, uh, about this we was that it had Rock Band three on it. That's it. Did we know it was retail? No. Did we know if it was a debug? No. We just knew that it was a Rock Band 3 installation on a development kit, which would imply that it's a debug build, but it does not confirm it. So, uh, yesterday for us, Friday night. I was going to say, like, worst that could have happened is just like, hey, we just got got a retail with, like, a couple of different things here and there. Like, and even then, that would have been pretty exciting. But no, we were not ready for what was to be revealed. So last night, Friday, for us, it was Friday... February twenty or February sixteenth, twenty twenty four. 
Comp, I hate Comp Veer. Received that's, the that's, that's his a, name. He doesn't actually hate him. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Uh, yeah. This was uh, this was the person that was in charge of the whole group by. He was the one that was going to receive the Wii, dump the Wii, etc. Um, so he is in possession of it. He dumped everything. Um, so we're, we're set there. But uh, when he was going through this Wii, picking it apart, seeing what was there, um, the way that Wii development kits are that there are different banks, right, of, of its uh, hard drive that it can store games in. There are eight banks. And uh, the seller only knew about Rock Band 3 being in bank number one. So I don't even know if he checked the other banks. I don't know. But uh, Comp was able to look through to see what was on those banks. And all eight of them, I believe, were filled. Some of them were just filled with bullshit. But there were five different usable Rock Band 3 builds on that fucking console. Fucking all five. of them. Five. Earliest, five. One, <laughs> earliest one being of January 2010. The game yes, came out sir. in October of 2010. That's an early fucking build. Early. Final, final build was in September of 2010. And you know this is a nine-month-old build. You know how crunchy game development is, just in general. But oh, even back then, crunchy. Games? these builds yeah, are hella crunchy. Back then, when they were crunching and crunching for games... You know, 2010, was, 2010 uh, was cutthroat, yeah. dude. They yeah. were pushing cut these throat. out. They were. So they this would... This was like a. This was like when Rock Band Three was like, just being fucking figured out. But and the, yeah, for uh, those Unearth, wondering, there was um I, for years there there were left messages on like the um there's like evidence on the Rock Band Three Wii disc like the retail, um traces of songs that were supposed to be in Rock Band Three, but they didn't actually quite make it. One of them was "Don't Stop Believing" by Journey, Journey, which was previously Rock Band Two DLC. Rock Band 3 was going to have a version of Don't Stop Believing with keyboard charted. And oh, lo and behold, Which would have on, been the early, on the earliest fucking build that we found um, on that disc yesterday was Don't Stop Believing with keys. With keys. The it's audio keys. was absolutely fucked, but it was it, there. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, I think it's that's like just they're still trying to work out like audio. so early and bad. But... Yeah, like, er, mm, like yeah. audio encoding. And again, was like it's on the Wii. Different. It's yeah. on the yeah. Wii. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I didn't realize this. I just looked it up. The Wii has like 88 megabytes of RAM total yes, for the system and everything, lot, but they, each no game memory. only had You know what you could do on Rock megabytes. Band 3? You could play with seven people, and the Wii yes. had to support that. Yes. With 66 and it did megabytes of RAM. And it did support that. You could play with two guitars, a keyboard, drums, and three vocalists. Three vocalists. Yep. It's yes. a technical marvel. That's straight amazing. Up. Go, go to Google Chrome right now. Go look at your Chrome tabs and hover over it. It'll tell you your RAM usage. I yeah. guarantee fucking to you, you couldn't run one of your goddamn Chrome tabs on a Wii. Nope. No it's way. It's just using hell. that much. If I go to one of my YouTube tabs, 235 megabytes yeah, of more RAM. Than oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all are using Chrome? Yeah, I use Firefox. Yeah. I'm a pleb. I don't use Opera like I'm on, you. I'm on Firefox. No, I'm on Firefox. No, uh, no. Me and Alec both left GX. I, we had to move over, bro. Yeah, I I'm about to because I swear to God I'm both, sick of YouTube both, loading so slow. Both yeah. Chrome and, and Opera started giving me mad issues, and so it's just like yep. I'm done. I'm done. We're out. We're Firefox, Firefox enjoyers now. now. Yeah, mm. even on my phone, I'm a Firefox enjoyer. Yeah. Damn, maybe it's time for me to switch. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. So this uh this we was um we know who it was owned by. <sighs> Backbone Entertainment ported Rock Band Three to the Wii, and the profile name. On back these bones of Rock Band Three is Backbone. Backbone. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So this, this Wii was internally used at Backbone Entertainment for development. Backbone Entertainment went defunct, I believe, in 2015. Um. So again, this but, is probably not one of those like you know liquidation sales or whatever. Yes. And History. why did why did the why did it take so long to get out into the public? Because a lot of the time, what ends up happening is that the people who gets in in the hand of these first usually are private collectors. And then private collectors buy and sell stuff that they have in their possession all the time, privately. Privately. Oh, and, not, uh, you will never bro, see this shit yeah. on eBay. They, they, you they will never see it on Backbone? eBay. They have little communities where they do those. They do this shit. Yeah. Backbone's, Backbone's done a lot ported, of work. They ported Sonic to iOS. Yeah, they did. They ported it to <laughs> iOS. <laughs> to iOS. Yeah. They did. Hmm. They, they, wow. they, they, they've done several Sonic-related oh, projects. Oh, fuck. They did, they did Rock Band Unplugged. I forgot about that. They did yeah. Rock Band oh. Unplugged. They did Rock and Band Lego Unplugged. Ro and Lego Rock Band DS. Yep. yep. Oh, okay. So they've been working with Rock Band. And then games the last, yeah, so the last harmonics game that they did is Rock Band Central Three. 3. No, they did. Oh, Dance, Dance Central. Central? 3. Dance oh, wow. Central Three on 360. Interesting. Specifically on three. Well, I think only on 360. My bad. 
I don't know why I thought, oh, PlayStation 3, no. Yo, where's the Dance Central dev kits at, baby? Yeah, <laughs> They're so probably somewhere. They probably Bro, are. Dance, but, yeah, they, Dance Central fans starving for custom content. They, <laughs> you, they are. <laughs> There's like so, two or three people on Earth that want Dance Central customs, and I hear you. I, I think it's you, yeah, right? It's valid. Yeah, yeah Hugh, just too basic. Yeah. yeah, It's valid. But yeah, basically, Backbone had a history of harmonics, and based on these builds, because this one build is very, very early, um... It's hard to figure out what the workflow was because obviously Rock Band 3 was primarily developed for HD gen consoles, right? Xbox 360 and PS3 at the time. Mm -hmm. So it, it it seems that these were worked alongside each other and Harmonix maybe provided the source code along the way for them to downport, right? But yeah, again, I'm not feel super like familiar. Yeah, with I'm not how so game, familiar with the whole process either. Pipeline works, you know? But it would feel like they would wait until the 360 and PS3 are like closer to done. But they did and not, then they, and then they start backporting their shit. Maybe I don't know because otherwise you have to develop it alongside each other. For Rock Band Two, we did. Did you have like custom characters, or was that video yeah. backgrounds? Yep, you did. Okay, they, 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 yeah, they pushed. They they were pushing hard for the Wii since Rock Band Two. Rock, Rock Band, Band Two's Portal Wii is actually Rock pretty Band good One as... was all FMVs. Yeah, okay. which like back then was not it. It it was actually worrisome. I was like, oh man, we yeah. gonna get they're gonna get the shittier Rock Band ports. But then Rock Band Two came out on the Wii, and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty good because you can actually change your shit, you can edit your own characters and stuff. And, and then DLC. Rock Band, and then I I was not expect yeah yeah a bunch of DLC, DLC. even exporting um was a thing I believe. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Rock Band One export I don't. No, was I don't know if that was a thing. I think that was a Rock SD thing. Do you remember that, JP? Yes, yes, I do. Rock <laughs> SD. That that is some man. That's some real ass shit. Because if you had an SD card and just a copy of Rock Man Two, you could just get custom songs. It was so easy. You mo you like you modded your Wii with Letter Bomb, right? Yes. Letter bomb. <laughs> you mo Good song. Yeah, you do Letter Bomb. It takes like ten seconds to mod your Wii, and then there's this program called Rock SD. Where you install customs as dlc onto an sd card to be played specifically in rock band 2 i've never seen that it was so never. easy Neither like I. it was such a it was so easy that the frets on fire community and rock sd rock band 2 players like they were like this wow from what i remember it was it was that easy it was unbelievable that's like, so neat to hear yeah, yeah. Like you, cool. you know how you know how like to play unmodded customs on a 360. It's just a flash drive, sure. With the songs on it and just just like that. Like it. That's what it was before that time. The rock SD. Rock SD was it. Wow, I missed out on that. Damn. Yeah, yeah I never really had. A, I, Wii I had users a Wii, actually ate. Rock Band. They were feasting with custom content back in um you know in 2009. Yeah, the um, Wii homebrew scene was and is still very strong. Mm -hmm. you know? There was a really good group of players on the Wii. Shout out to people like Undead Phil, right? Like Cyclops yes. Dragon. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, the yeah, Wii Undead Phil, the first, the first FC of one. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. on Wii, on Wii, <laughs> Wii. It's so fucked. Unbelievable. Doesn't make, sense. Doesn't make sense in my brain. Oh, um, some more things we can talk about is that Addy Mills figured out lip syncing for PS2 GH3. Oh, she really? What? Incredibly cursed. Did you see that shit? No. I think I, I saw that being talked about. I didn't see a video. Uh, a I video haven't of seen it. anything on this one either, man. It is super funny. All right, just for reference, this is not Slow Ride by Foghat. I don't like I don't the know. thumbnail. His chin is, like, twisted. Yeah, it looks like, like he's having a stroke, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. you're 10 seconds in. So this is custom lip sync. And, oh, and drum animations, too. Yeah. Wow. But the what drum animations. What is that jaw? <laughs> the jaw? Dude. His jaw just disconnected. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is actually kind but, of sick, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Addy has figured out um, custom lip sync on Guitar Hero 3, PC, and 360, and, um, and PS3, but not That's PS2 so cool. and Wii. But look, it's cool. It's here. Yeah. It, it, it oh, certainly here, exists. Here's... Yeah, I saw, it... another, I saw another instance of uh, custom lip sync being backported. Uh, even before this video, uh, what if Ninja had a Lord low taper fade, fade on yeah. Guitar Hero Three? Two? No, Three. It is, this one is really cursed, though. 
One, this guy's playing on PCSX2 on Android, I'm pretty sure. On Android? Um, what the fuck I, is this video, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are these animations? I mean, the textures get all garbled up. <laughs> it's, it's definitely <gasps> custom lip This is go just not a video that has in. to exist. You, there's go easier ways to do this, bro. Go one minute in on the low taper fade video. It's yeah. definitely custom lip sync for sure. Okay. It's just not like you know. It's, it's oh, not yeah, all it is. there, but it's absolutely. It makes I want to feel. You know what I want to say? Oh, I think it's the same one as that World Tour Definitive Edition custom. I want to say. Yeah, my. It be. is. Yeah. I think, you yeah, know what it is. is that makes it feel so uncanny? Is the low angle of the camera making you see the vocalist's eyes? Yeah. 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 It's oh, super I don't like weird. It. It's super True. weird. True. Yeah. His eyes it's are like dark, it's peering dark through his, it's his dark hair. Randy. Dark Randy. Dark <laughs> Randy. Jesus. Okay. Evil Randy. Let's see. Let's see. What else is there? Okay. This but yeah. No, no. Sucks, I, I thought that would be funny to bring up. We I got that DLC last night PS2 and bring the freak the fuck out. We got to talk about uh, season two. And we need to talk about off season. Hold on, before we get to that, one more, just one more thing to to finish off with the uh, the Rock Band three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. let's just cap that. Um, yeah, cap that off real quick. There was five builds released in there. Four of them are pre release. One of them is post release. So the one that we knew about uh, that was pictured in the eBay listing was actually uh, post um, release. The, the, I think the final release build was. I don't know, a couple weeks before the one that we have here. So it's possible they're working on like a, a patch uh, disc for Rock Band 3, but they probably canceled it because it's Rock it Band 3. It didn't make any sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so it would have been like the Mad Cats build, but for Wii. Yes. Oh, yes. man. Yeah, exactly. like, wait, so is it exactly. actually that, though? Does huh. it actually That's what I suspected. So. If anything, it would have been title update 1. Like yeah. I don't know what happened in title update one for Xbox 360, but that's probably what it, it looked been, like. Shit, it's just that early. It, it's what it's what the Wii version actually is like, just out the gate. It's, just, it's that's TU title one. That's TU one for Xbox for sure. Okay, and then uh, right. the other thing I wanted to mention was that there is one song that has never been released in Rock Band uh, that was found on one of these builds, and that song is "Feeling All Right" by the band Traffic. Traffic. Oh wow! Feeling all right. That song. Oh, oh. That is one. it fully authored and everything? Yeah, fully authored uh, with stems. Um, Ooh, wow. I had a video up. I need to go find that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's always so interesting when there's a fully Yo, authored a, chart. Yeah, that isn't and then you should do a full bit. You should do a one man band FC of that shit. Throw it on your channel. Jake. Comp already made the made the bot do oh, it. Oh, video so. isn't available anymore. Whatever you just. Yo, posted. what? Oh. Okay, I've had yeah, this up not. on my. I've, I I'm gonna have to screen share it then because I've had this up on my uh, on my monitor for like the oh, past couple cashed? hours. Oh yeah, no! Is cashed. it gonna reset? Is it gonna reset? I don't know. Start shouldn't. buffering. Oh, it might. It might. Ooh. No, I think we're good. I'm gonna try screen sharing this. It might fuck what the up fuck? my recording. I'm not gonna. No, I'm who, not gonna. Do who it. posted this? Okay. Uh, it was comp. Uh, it was comp. Oh, okay. I will... What if he took it down, like to re-upload? What? Perhaps. Well, what he was gonna do, um, I believe this was all just the the regular instruments, and then he was gonna do a pro instruments after that. So he might be merging the two in some way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll make a screen recording of this. I don't want to fuck up the recording over there. So that's I'm not fine. Yeah, yeah, I get, it, I get it. We'll do it later. But yeah, that that whole song was uh, charted. It, was, it had stems and all that shit. It was kind of cool. And it was Damn. never, it never saw the light of day in rock band ever. So, oh, Great. the custom is already already released. <laughs> I, uh, see it this. Milo hacks. I see Fucking it in Milo Hacks. I see it in there. Of course. <laughs> that, sure. you know, I'm going well, to grab, grab it right now. And then Good. Uh, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, I will. I will give you a screen a screen grab of what this uh, what this looks like though, because I think there's something kind of interesting here. I think I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if you guys notice it. All right, here's the screenshot, and then I'm tell me what's different. There it is. Well, <laughs> what the? Probably work, oh, working yard. Okay, what? What do you notice that's different about that image versus release? The big one. Oh, that whoa, me. whoa! What the fuck? Oh, the multiplier. Yeah, the, the multiplier. multiplier. The X has its own little also, circle down there. Also, those yeah. those note gems look straight out of Rock Band too. Well, hey, Do speaking they? of things like that, check out the the, uh, score, the striker the score too. The way that the way that the uh, the note gets hit, oh, you know, like, look kind at the of, way like, the puffs up into smoke. Hit. Yeah, it look, it look, it's like a circle. It rings yeah, out. I was gonna say, there's like a ring effect there. Yeah, it yeah. does that on pro. It does that on pro instruments as well. Like on pro guitar, they had like a like a pro guitar test where it was just like I saw that. Drumming. I saw that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. And every string makes a little circle. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. You're right. Looks interesting. 
<laughs> they, they're probably they're probably gonna backport that to like deluxe. I think there's some. Oh, they they have, like, yeah. <laughs> they they're probably will. working on it right now. They're, they're probably yeah. gonna like AI upscale the textures and everything. Like yeah, there's gonna be different proto track themes yeah. and shit. The yeah, that would be way. cool. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah the Milo Hex way. Anyways, anything so, else uh, that you guys want to add to the Rock Band three uh, debug before we cap that off? I just think it's great that this happened. I mean, like you know, people really like preservation is super important. It just is, you know, and like. This is the history of like the games that we love, you know, and Absolutely. it's just really cool to. It's really, it's always oh, such a, a fucking pleasure. W, man. What a yeah, w. it's always such a pleasure. It's always a W to see stuff like this come out. It it's is. really interesting to me as somebody who hasn't ever known about this stuff. Like I've been just kind of soaking it in because I legitimately don't know as much about it. Right? It's not been a part of the scene that I've ever known enough about. So being able to soak in the information as well and just see what people are able to put their time effort talent and passion into is freaking amazing and it's so cool to see all of this work being done in a way that preserves it for the future for us like mm -hmm. and we can learn from it we can learn from yeah. it that's great yeah very well said so, so thank you milo hex yeah. <laughs> thank you 36 dollar club 36 yeah, 36 dollar club 36 dollar club let's go <laughs> all, right, all right so, so what, what you were starting to go into season... was off season three yeah let's talk about off season three so recently, uh, so for those who don't know, um, the main guy running the show with Off Season 2 is an individual known as Optic Hitch. He is the creative director Hitch. for Optic. Fantastic guy. Um, he has his own podcast called Around the Bar, and he recently interviewed Aiden from The Yard. Um, I know Aiden has done other things, but I think most people associate him with The Yard at this point. Yeah. The Yard, um, Mogamu, Zabin, Gaiman, all those things. They, yeah. yeah, they also called him Aiman because I guess it's a meme. But Aiman, Gaiman. <laughs> yeah. So, Hitch brought up uh, how they did Guitar Hero at Off Season 2 and how it did very, very well. Um, but he brought up the fact that Smash 64 did not do well. Smash 64 was featured at Off Season 2, and they had some donation incentives. So, if they got... Because this is a charity event, right? So, you have to have incentives. The more money you get, the more stuff happens. So, they had incentives for certain stages getting unlocked. But no matter how many stages got unlocked... Everybody just kept playing on Kirby's Dream, like Dreamland, you know, like that's all, that's all they played on because it's the most inoffensive stage in the entire game. It has the least stage hazards, right? Like it just has wispy woods blowing you off the stage every now and then. So nobody played them. So it wasn't very exciting to watch and he wants stuff to be exciting. So Hitch was like, I'm thinking about obviously still keeping Guitar Hero, but having Guitar Hero go against X game and which it, you know, whichever one gets more entrance gets a bigger prize pool. And he's thinking about because yeah, the other X game is game. not decided yet. They haven't decided on another game well, that they were talking he, about in that podcast. He was podcast thinking about Mario, Mario Kart. Kart Wii. He was thinking yeah. about Mario Kart Wii because apparently Mario Kart That'd Wii awesome. is like is like the melee <laughs> of uh, Mario Kart, which I believe. Well, Mario Kart right? Wii is goaded. It's yeah. it's probably the best one. <laughs> yeah, it, de it sure. definitely is. I I would agree with that. So that's where they're at right now. Is that uh, a prize pool? The bigger prize pool would be determined depending on whether Guitar Hero or X game, again, undecided, maybe Mario Kart Wii, gets more entrance. So, we need you. We need you when this does happen. We need you to, even if you're not that great at the game, you don't have a lot of confidence, enter the tournament. It's going to be a blast. I can tell you right Granted, now. This is an in-person tournament. you got to be close to Texas. Where, where are they? Or Dallas? willing to travel. Or Arlington. Well, it's in Arlington. 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 Yeah. That's where so, that sounds like a good Lore Hero meetup to me. Oh yeah! I mean, absolutely. I'm down. Dude, I'm 100. We'll I'll all, buy plane I, tickets tomorrow. Well, you if, already if know we'll all be we'll all be there. I would buy plane yeah. tickets right now. I'd, I'd book the absolutely. hotel. But yeah, we need people. So, and you know, this isn't to say that Hitch did a bad job or anything, but this was their first time having Guitar Hero as so off season two. Obviously, there was one before that, mainly focused on Cotton Smash. Hitch wanted to incorporate more games. Have a have a bit of a '90s vibe to it, like a very retro. Like he was talking about a, about oh mid 2000s the, like emo type vibe. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah he was going uh, he was saying like a um like an emo rock type yeah. thing, and then that's when he reached out to me and he was like, yeah, you want to um what do you think about we're like running a tournament? And I was like, yeah, keep me in the loop, man. And then he like actually made it happen. And I was like, oh fuck, he you made for, it happen. You're for you're for fucking real. I mean, like yeah, it's hitch. Yeah. And then I was like, man, you really fucking did this. And it's like yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And then me and Olivia came through, and then uh, yep. me and JP ran the whole thing. Essentially, like it, it was just yeah, crazy. which was which yeah, which is crazy. Like so, basically, 
um, you know, the Guitar Hero part wasn't super widely publicized, right? And that's, again, it was their first time doing it. It was kind of, not necessarily last minute edition, but the, but there there was like, it was kind of up in the air whether Alec would be able to physically make it and everything, and they were they were figuring that out. I was providing guitars for the event, and I didn't know if I could physically, physically make it, and we both ended up being able to make it, and Olivia. Um, but I think that this year would be a lot different. I think that the Guitar Hero portion would be much better publicized because we would be able to push it a lot. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and Hitch said in that podcast that he was really surprised at how well Guitar Hero was received at this past one. There was a lot of passionate people there watching Guitar Hero more so than the other game. Let's let's not get this twisted. This is a Call of Duty event, right? This is the yeah. the off season Call of Duty and name. Yeah. The off season name is comes from the off season of the Call of Duty com- uh, competitive league. Right, they're yeah. they're done like in August or whatever uh, with with the uh, competition stuff. They're waiting for the next game to come out. So this is the off season, and so so there's like kind of a throwback deal. They played Black Ops Two this last time, I think. The first off season might have been a different game, maybe yeah. Model for Two. Uh, but that that's the whole ethos here is that it's the off season of Call of Duty. These are Call of Duty creators. It's Optic Gaming, so they have other games alongside of it, like Melee and like Guitar Hero, like. Perhaps Mario Kart or whatever. It's it's going back to the good old days is kind of the yes. kind of the goal of this season. The I think off season. that one of the biggest issues with competitive Guitar Hero being shown to people is that like a lot of people just aren't familiar with what happens in competitive no, scene, not. right? Yes. And at least three of the four of us have run major Guitar Hero tournaments before. I don't know if you have moves, but I feel like I commented one. Hey, we've, with we've you. commented right. Yeah, we've yeah. commented together. Uh, JP, Alec, myself have all run official like tournaments, right? The off season, myself with Activision back in the day as well. And when we've seen these big tournaments put on, reception is always good from the public because people are enamored by the skill. It's very easy to see that. At the same time, I feel like a lot of the time, the actual skill ceiling, skill cap that, that it's being presented isn't understandable for casual players. Yeah. For and sure. if we could communicate that better in the future and really get people acclimated to the competitive side, I feel like there would be a real I, potential for viewership you know, in the future. You know, I think just explaining it in real time, like, because I know what you mean, the whole disconnect and being like, oh, we're going to watch these two players play something that's not even really that hard, but why is it so hype at the end? But, you know, yeah. whenever, whenever yeah. I think about it, Whenever I'm casting the easier matches or whatever, you know, we got two players playing the metal and they're both good and they're both they're, they're both FCing the song. But then it just comes down to, oh, my God, he got the squeeze in. And yep, what yes. happened there is that their star power activation was slightly better than the other players. And that's why it doesn't matter if both players can hit 100 percent of the notes because, because that guy got an extra 20 points or you know, yeah. or somebody like, who was losing and missing more notes lost or, or sorry. Someone who is, yeah, actually one versus the person who FC'd. Like, that's something that is happening. Yeah, it's just all a different the time level too. of game knowledge. I mean, it's there's, the, there's the skill of hitting and notes, it's all... but there's the knowledge of where to activate star power for the best, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. most optimal scoring. I remember it's a, it's, it's a big the deal. Old invitational tournament that I hosted with EVV, the activ- we've talked about this before, and it was you and I want to say Con Fury, Alec, yep. playing on, on Burn. Burn, and you FC'd yeah. it. But didn't know the path. Nope. And they did. And I was just commentating, like, oh, you have seen it. He's going to win. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and right at the end, like the last note, because the way the star power path ended, they pulled ahead on a non FC. Yep. yep. And it was just so hype in the moment. We had like 500 people in chat. This isn't like the first year Twitch existed, folks. This is 2011. This is after, yeah. after Justin. Or 2012. TV. Sorry. This is 2012. Like, Early this is when Justin Early TV on. became Twitch. Yeah. And. The amount of hype from that moment. I wish there was a video capture of the chat. You know. Yeah. Shout out to Golden Boy, who was uh, like on TV with The Rock hosting game shows. He was in chat that day saying, "We need more Guitar Hero competitive tournaments." Yes. Mm-hmm. And it's you know? sick. <laughs> yeah. I love that man. That's oh, awesome. Man. Like, I love that. Golden Boy, you what, may know him as the as the famous Twitch emote that I'm forgetting what it is. <laughs> yes. Yep. What face? Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's what, what face. face. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in chat saying, you know, hey, this is so hype. I would love to see more of this. And That's it was early twenty tens. Like, the finals, the final uh, match for off season was super hype because um, Alec and I were were trying our hardest to uh, commentate regarding, you know, how exactly what you were talking about, like star power <laughs> pathing and like FCs and non FCs yeah. and 
and um you know explaining leading up to like certain sections like fast solo away and one like like saying like all right guys we're about to get into like also the, while hung what, over like <laughs> yeah yeah you were hung over <laughs> also while hung over it was crazy oh my hey, god man. so his oh, finger man. quick didn't stop yeah him. no yeah no we didn't we had no bro, we did not finger know where bro up, was finger quick showed up like 30 <laughs> minutes before it was gonna start fucking mackie is sitting there for like two hours black practicing flood and raining blood the whole time like, and he's still lost like <laughs> did he show up with like no. with a drink in his hand he's like yeah i'd be sipping yeah, yeah. Whatever sipping, the yeah. Fuck. some the, people are the cracked. minnesota yeah <laughs> But no, yeah. Finger, well, St. Paul. Yeah. Well, that brings me to something else later. Finger quick, oh, really, no. Finger quick, really brought it in. We'll see. You know, Mackie. Mackie was a very formidable opponent, and um, it was like, it was, it was really like, it was an honor to see my creations being used by people in this tournament too. You know, like it was a very yeah. high honor, and I didn't accept. I didn't ask for any payment. You know, like I, I did ask Hitch if he if he could fly me out, but understandably no because at this point he didn't really know me and also they had paid for a lot of people for the cod invitational for melee players like cody schwab the number one smash player um was at the this was on the same flight as me and mackie and he was like oh yeah hitch got me first class and it's like you know because hey, they, you but, guitar is the third rate game it's okay we yeah exactly that. so we i didn't that. i didn't I didn't take it personally, but I I didn't want dude just to be anything... just to be there doing a guitar hero yes, three tournament. That's all I that's all I cared about. That's yeah. all I cared about. Oh my God, that's all I man. wanted. Yeah, people that's were like, huge. did you get paid? People were like, did you get paid? And I was like, no, I didn't no. want to get paid. I wanted. Uh, dude, we do it for the love of the game, the baby. The fuck do you think we I are? I did it for the love of the game. We've been I doing really this for though. years, and it ain't just about like okay, sure, yeah, Alec and I, we we've been doing this full time for a bit. We got to pay our bills, sure, but we would have never lasted this long if we didn't freaking care about it, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, you there's an inherent passion there. You gotta have the love. If you don't, it's, then... it's just different. It's a difference. You know, people. It, don't if you it. don't have the but love, okay. it, it'll show. It'll show through, and yeah. you won't be as successful as you would be Absolutely. if you were a genuinely passionate fan. Can you tell yeah. I'm a passionate fan? I am. No, <laughs> I think you hate this game, bro. Yeah, yeah, you too. I can see how many guitars <laughs> in the background are you? Right, five, six. I, hate I mean, after game. getting Drum a full set. game FC, I'd probably hate this game too, to be honest. Full series. Yeah, I'm over. I'm retired. Yeah. Moved on to it's Fortnite. Good. Moved on it's to Fortnite. Fortnite now, baby. I'm a Fortnite gamer now, baby. <laughs> hey, who are you excited for? Are you, I'm so excited to see Little Nas X be the festival yeah. icon tomorrow. The season 2 icon? Oh, to God. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow when, this, when this comes out, it's tomorrow. For yeah, us, if it's you're still listening to this, away. we have no clue what the festival 2 or yeah, season 2 no is going to be uh, while we're recording this. We have no clue, but no, that'll probably be out by the time. Shit, shit, we might still not have a clue about the time is out, but I'm betting we will. We got the weekend we four days, I want to say, before festival dropped. So yeah. if they keep it the same, they'll announce it Monday. We'll see. Either, Fingers yeah. crossed, baby. Yeah. I Fingers think they should, just, they should just give us at least a hint on Tuesday or just keep it all a secret until season two. I'm if down they, with it oh being no, a secret. No they can't keep it a secret. It'll just get API leaked. We'll see It'll how far I'm also, yeah, I'm also, the, the I'm also expecting, I'm also, I'm also really hoping that we get like a sizable song drop for season two. Me too. Sizable. That'd be nice. You know, Perfect World, 25 songs. I don't think it'll be 25. Maybe six songs. So. Um, but if we got 10, it'd be huge. I'm going to say, I'm, you, you know what, I'm thinking drop one of 10. these bad boys on us, just a track pack. Yes! Yeah, just a track pack. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's go. <laughs> Season 2 track pack. Maybe the, one of these, a uh, metal track pack, eh? What if they With did bullet some for my bundles? Valentine. Season 1 bundles after the fact? That'd Season be really cool. Yeah. That'd Discounted be songs. <gasps> Entire launch Imagine. bundle. Ooh. Ooh, yo, ooh, ooh. yo! Entire talk, launch song keep, bundle, keep five thousand V bucks. Talking, I like, I like what I hear. Hey, and Ooh, I like a launch bundle. The way yeah. that Fortnite does bundles, if you have any of the songs, it discounts a little, right? It discounts it, which is that great. would be that would be so sick. I would love that. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers I'm keeping my fingers that's crossed. Cool, I got, I hope that's actually like a cool like concept. I, I like that. I hope that's a thing. Anyway, mm, love season two, it. season two tomorrow, we'll be there. Yeah, we're gonna keep it brief because we don't know shit about it, and yeah. by the time this comes out, we probably will know shit about it. So it'll be yeah. out, all outdated information. Anyways, you could skip past that part of the podcast. So we're, we're gonna skip it for you. There's a few so. things from season one to finish up though, mentioning which is first of all, one they finished with a bang from the weekend because hey, out of nowhere they said, hey, remember that spot in the jam stage that appeared out of nowhere? Guess what? Popular is the newest single from the weekend. He's dropping it officially as his new single, and they're debuting the music video in Fortnite on the jam stage. What? Which, which um, old premiere? This is what Am Shadows wishes whole, he was. The whole like checkered, <laughs> true. The whole like checkered floor thing there. 
was on the floor of the palace he was dancing in in the music video. I thought that oh, shit was kind of cool. That makes per- I thought okay. that shit was super yeah. cool. Yeah, okay. um, yeah. And so it was a I little, little that. cool attention to detail. Uh, I think like that whole set, the whole set on that jam stage was supposed to be, you know, like the courtyard of that, that, makes of sense. that palace. That makes at. a lot more sense now. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Um, and we would have no way of knowing that because the music video debuted in the game. We had no idea what the video was. Yeah. Which was already, it was already ripped. And and that's great. It was cool seeing yeah, it. Not it was ripped in, like almost immediately. <laughs> it was ripped like immediately, but like, you know, as, at as, least as they do. Preservation. As they do. We're big fans of preservation, right? I, I mean, it's on YouTube now too, right? Like it was only 24 hours. I don't I know. I no, no. I think the, I think it's 3 said, days. What is it? Um, tomorrow. Three days. They, yeah, yeah, tomorrow Ooh. is the last day they, they're going to show it. I don't know if it's going to be on YouTube as soon as like it's done. But for these three days, you gotta go. You gotta go to Fortnite to go see it. Damn, son, that's still yeah. wild. Hey, kudos to people like Madonna as well, reinventing herself, tweeting about Fortnite. She did tweet about it. Bro, she's Madonna. sixty-five. She what doesn't a, look it. What a badass! Look it. Like, that's that's what? that's incredible. Yeah. Oh, she's so sick. But yeah, mm-hmm. no, like there, there's so much to be done with festival. I think I. uh I think they're just very slowly pushing cool Trip things feeding. out. I think it's going to eventually get to a point where we get a Travis Scott like concert. Because if you weren't I'd there, love that. which I know you, I'm pretty sure you guys have not seen that uh, yeah. when that happened. Seen the video. It was in April of 2020. I would, let me tell you, I went to every single showing of that. <laughs> like I went into the game like it, it was just so fucking cool. That's I had sick. to go see it because it was just so, so different at that time. I'm hoping that there's an experience like that with festival yeah you know yeah like, like you're hey playing, Taylor come, watching. we're gonna have three special showings come come play because you'll get rewards or whatever and you'll be able to play festival if you want to yeah man like awesome. can you imagine that, that that would just be so awesome one day like a match it. made in heaven really yeah Mm-hmm. I mean, shit sure. they've already been doing, and now they have this game built around music. It mm-hmm. just works, and that's what that's how they showed off the game. I mean, with the Eminem concert, that's how we even found out about festival, right? Yeah, they've already done this. Literally, what we're I talking about, they've done it before. I'm curious to see if they change color schemes or anything like that. Yeah, I want to see that blue. Options. I want to see that's that blue, wonder. bro. Yeah, I want exactly to see that blue from the bigger too. The the blue looked awesome. We we well, we have slight color change in the scheme. Like we have the purple, and then we have like the, the, the it's a little pink. more pink sometimes. Like I don't know what determines it. I it's no the day. Ta- it's the day and night stage. The day oh, stage is, is oh, the really? pink. Yeah, the day stage is the pink, the nighttime okay, stage is the purple. Okay, that's actually sick. That's actually kind of sick, but I'm not going to lie. But the way yeah. that you get those, it's random. The, yeah, like, I want to say, I want to say for all of day one, you know, I got like day stages, and then it felt like for a week after that, all I got was night stage. So oh, interesting. I didn't realize yeah. that. Is it? Yeah, it's no. not based on time of the day that you're actually playing, is it? No. No, okay. no, no. I, it's, I didn't it's think so. It's a random lobby you get placed into. I just I, as never far paid as that I'm much concerned. attention. Not if I really. yeah, no, I I know at some point because like I go back and I look at my videos, um, so I can post them, and it's just like, oh, I had a nighttime stage here, it's all purple. Mm-hmm. Oh, I had a daytime stage here, it's all like pink. The thing that I've been paying the most attention to is the damn mechanics and hoping that we get a toggle switch for freaking overdrive. Yeah, since uh, yeah. hey, this is worth mentioning. We've talked before World's in the first. Past. <laughs> We've talked about overdrive activations clearing notes in Fortnite Festival and how it's a weird mechanic that feels a lot different than older Guitar Hero or Rock Band games. And I was playing around like hell with this last night while all the Milo hack stuff was going on since uh, a couple people in the community have told me, hey, if you activate overdrive, it hits all five lanes as long as the notes are in different lanes, which I was like, okay, well, a single notes, cool. Then I'm playing Nothing's Alright by Witch Gang on drums and realize there's a chord and a single note close enough together to try. And I hit three notes that way with a chord. I'm like, oh, uh. hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let's try it with two chords in different lanes. Emo Girl has that on lead. Bro, we got, we've got the spot chord already being hit via a star yeah. power activation <laughs> yeah i can't yeah. i can't even do the i can't i can't even that's, do that it's, it's tough it's tough to do yeah. that's the that's the cursed chord nobody likes this chord <laughs> nobody Dude. likes this chord and no. here's one more thing to point out about this just because it is it is a weird thing that i've been making a lot of fuss about because it's it's i think it hurts players more than it helps like for the tech i honestly do uh people striking getting frustrated i think that's really frustrating as a whole it helps casual people that don't care but yeah, for the people yeah. who do care it, it can be a major roadblock because it, it, you have to rethink about how you're even hitting the notes yes. at some points, especially on like more complex drum 
uh, patterns. You 100%. have to be like, oh, okay, so if I hit this, I'm going to have to tap that lift note, but the other one's not a lift note. I'm going to have it's, it's hard to do on the fly. It right? is. You have to, to play optimally at that point. You have to play differently than what the notes say to do, which is awkward. Yeah, it, it's counterintuitive. Yeah. Um, so, so if there was a toggle, that would be ideal for people like us, I think. Agreed. 100 yeah. percent and the, then last the casuals thing... can still have it it's fine no problem but then we the, the market mm -hmm. the, the more um i don't even know what word to use for us i want i was going to say professional we're not professional the the more hardcore <laughs> users um would Techies. have would not have to worry about striking people actually go for fcs go for scores it'd be one one less roadblock to deal with yeah. you know on the way to a first place last thing i'm going to mention on this real quick is that currently in the engine it looks like there's no way to even hit a three note chord in game like it will drop one of the really? notes if you have a custom, mm. right? Mm. So mm. that means overdrive is more powerful than the fucking engine itself. You can hit yeah. more notes via a overdrive activation this way than then you actually, actually could button. with your hand. <laughs> that's uh, that's fucked. I, that's a weird way to think that's about really it. That's really funny. It's weird. Interesting. Just had to point that out. Yeah. And you hit all four of those notes on one frame. Two notes, oh, two, two chords yeah. being hit on the exact same frame, which I believe has never been possible before in any other game, right? It's I mean, legitimately, it made my mind kind of melt when I realized it could be done because it, it doesn't look right. It doesn't. We've done some testing. No. We've realized it does not give perfect timing for all four of the notes. But yeah. you know what? All this could probably change in season two. Correct, right? which is yeah. why yeah. I wanted to bring it up now because yeah. here's hoping we maybe get a toggle or they change or updates. So, listeners, enjoy your last day of this engine. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. You never know what's going to happen. Go Maybe load up Emo Girl by Machine Gun Kelly and hit all those double note, uh, oh, four yeah. notes double with one activation while you still can. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> still might be some Who wild knows? tech for the future. You never know. Yeah. Just figuring out that it's possible is neat, though, because, again, it's not something we've ever seen in the old games. No. It's new. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's a new game. It's all new Rock stuff. Five. It's, it's refreshing. Yeah. But everybody wants it to be Rock Band 5. Well, get over it. But it, it. is. It is Rock Band <laughs> yeah. 5. Well, in time, it might be once we get instrument mode. What if What if they just call instrument just... mode Rock Band? Literally. Ah, I'm down, I guess. I'm they down. Don't know. I'm, I'm Bro, skeptical of that. I'm skeptical. They can't the call fuck it Rock, up R slash rock, rock Band, though. I don't, think, I don't think they band. want anything to do Why with Rock Band they? anymore. I don't know. It, Fortnite Band. They could just drop Fort, the... Fort Band, yeah. Band Night. Festival. Fortnite Rock Band. They have Lego Fortnite. How about, well, I was going to say, what about Lego Rock Band? <laughs> Lego Rock Band <laughs> Fortnite. Well, they, they're in the band, game. Band Hero. They've never done that. Oh. Wait oh. a second. Oh, no. Wait, oh. Hold on, I, I love that, that game. <laughs> you guys have a problem with it? Solid. Taylor Swift, baby. She's in hey, there. speaking of uh, names that have been used before, this is, uh, we, we talked about the, the PV guitars recently. Uh, do you guys remember oh, what the official name for those were? Because I didn't realize this until recently. Neither did I. Oh yeah, I saw somebody pointed out in the comments of our latest episode before Yo, this. The uh, the PV yeah. guitars were called the PV Riffmaster. The Riffmaster. Yeah. Wow. Yo. That's crazy. So PDP I or Steelers? A, they're not really. I wonder, I wonder if it's an homage. It's kind of wild, dude. I went through and I yeah. looked. There. Uh, this is gonna. This is a uh, complete. F up of what we said earlier in the stream in the podcast today. Uh, hey, anybody want a Riftmaster from PV? There's a bunch of them on eBay right now. Uh, yeah, oh you can God. go buy a Riftmaster right now. There's, if you there's, wanted to. There is. There's a Coors <laughs> Light one. There's a, a best uh, of CES. What the want hell? A best of CES, bro. That's fuck sucks. that. There's a Leonard Skinner guitar. Who's the best right now on uh, on eBay, and it also uh, a Kiss and Coors Light. God, these things all suck so bad. Yeah, they're awful, man. <laughs> they ain't they, no good. They rough, and they're selling for like over four hundred dollars each. Oh yeah, yeah, these are expensive. I, was, oh, I mean, yeah. I'd like to get Dude, one just for the collector part of it. That strum bar that is money, so man. fucking small. Oh my god, that is like smaller than an explorer. Oh, wow, bar. that oh, is it's like small. half the size of an explorer strum bar. That's yeah, fucking nuts. That is small. I don't get wow. that. Oh man. When when someone pointed that out this week, and I just I did the double take of there's no way it actually was called the Rift Master. Nope, lo and behold, too. yeah, little little did we know. I did the same thing. Yeah. Oh, little I, did we know? That's funny, man. 
So that's why they canceled that one patent with the office. The <laughs> name was already <laughs> taken. We figured it out. We figured it they gotta, out. They, 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 they <laughs> should come up with a different name, like I don't know, Shredmaster. Oh, hold on, it's like oh, wait, oh, oh, Dream oh, Gear oh, wait, guitar. Wait a second, wait a second. Dream, Dream Gear made the Shredmaster. Shred 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 I don't know. That fucking dude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No. So, so speaking of Uh-oh. things that I, that I that I purchased, oh, I purchased a few things. Uh oh. You want to see this week's pickups? Let's see it. Sure. Oh boy. If they're not guitar pickups, I'm gonna be mad. He's he's, he's got it prepared. Oh, oh shit! You got, I got two yes. stage kits, two baby. Of them. I got Damn. two stage all kits. All right, yep. all right. Sh- shout out yep. to Assassin Pikachu on Twitter for alerting me to these uh, the existence yep, of these yep, on Facebook yep. Marketplace. This guy down here is uh, the box is in bad condition. Apparently, the lady said that she bought this, you know, in two thousand eight or nine or whatever when it came out, and uh, never used it. It's brand new in the box. Everything's still sealed. No uh, shot. But she, wow. but she just she just kept it. And apparently, her roommate's cat started chewing up on the bottom of the box. Oh. So, so, <laughs> I so that's why that the box all. is like that. Oopsie. Uh, so I met up with this with this very nice lady uh, at, at a Target in Fridley, Minnesota, and this top one. Uh, I mentioned St. Paul earlier. I had to go to St. Paul for this guy. The person who kept this one, uh, this is in really bad shape. I mean, it's all brand new, but it's dirty and the box is in, like, in tatters. That that you one's going to be mine. This one's yours. <laughs> yeah. This one's yeah. yours. Yeah. yeah. Because you want to use this thing, right? Yes, I do. I want to vape. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't vape the uh, fog juice. Uh, <laughs> there you go. You can vape the PDP Rock Band oh State my Kick God. Fog Juice. It's just in there. Yeah, oh still dear! Sealed. Wow! Slurp it down, delicious. Yeah, it's gonna, like, a, it's, like a chug jug, baby. It made by gonna, PDP. So, yo, PDP, if you don't give me a riff master right now, I'm gonna vape the fog juice, and it's gonna be on your hands. Oh my Lawsuit. god! My Lawsuit. Death. Yeah. On your hands, how many, PDP. How many people still working there? Like, even did anything on the stage? <laughs> zero. <kid? laughs> Probably I was zero. Gonna say, like zero, <laughs> most likely, bro. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, th- this this St. Paul guy pissed me off because uh, I, I messaged him on like Wednesday of this past week and I was trying to figure out a good time to go pick it up and he said, Friday, I'll be home Friday. I'm like, okay, good. Uh, I can come around like around four. Is that good? Yep. He gave me a thumbs up emoji. Um, so I get to the location that he said to meet at. It was a public um, like parking lot at four o'clock on Friday, like we agreed to. I sent him a message. Hey, I'm here. Uh, I'm, I'm in this car, you know. 15 minutes go by, he hasn't even opened the fucking message yet. And then like 30 mi- minutes go by, hasn't opened the fucking message yet. So I'm like, are you even coming, dude? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here, I'm at the location, I'm ready. Are you, are you going to come? And he didn't open that for like 10 minutes. It was like almost 4.45 and he's like, oh, sorry, I was in my basement. I don't get reception down there. I'll come right out. Bruh. Because he lived like right down the street. He walked it out to my car. Hey, I'm like, God damn. Well, I was about ready to what? leave. I was going to leave. I'm glad you got it. That's... Yeah, me, me too. I would have been my stage kit gone. Thank you. Yep. I would have kept my own fucking stage kit. I'm very excited. (laughs) Yeah, I'll ship it out to you. Uh, Speaking of stage kits, um, I got one of these. Um, Oh, yeah. Just part of the stage kit. Which is the light diffuser. It is a, uh, it's called um, Fats Fats Co. Light Show. uh, Made by a a gentleman named the Fat Bastard on, on the Yarg, over on the Yarg Discord. Was making these 3D printed um, LED light shows for Yarg because it has stage kit support. It just mm-hmm. kind of it kind of boosts this like onto your wall or your ceiling or whatever while you're playing songs on Yarg. And if they don't have, and, and usually it looks for lighting events inside of your songs. So take the intro of Painkiller by Judas Priest. The lights are going, you know. Oh yeah, that's great. Da 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 da, and it's changing on on those hits, and it's changing colors and stuff. It's really cool, and um, but if it doesn't have lighting events, it just goes to the BPM of, of a song, um, cool. or like maybe like a quarter of the BPM of the song, because I haven't seen it go ape shit on like a prep song yet. So there's but like there's like changing. a fallback where if something isn't like directly authored, it'll just do like a default type deal. Yeah, yeah. So it, it'll work. read it'll read the BPM and it'll actually change mm-hmm. to that beat. But I like yeah, I said that's, that's I have I haven't played anything super cracked yet, but I have played like FL Studio songs that like and it makes it really cool. Um but yeah, I go play it? Yark. Um but anyway, um yeah, no, this shit was like what, thirty thirty five dollars or something? And it runs <laughs> sand the troller. stage kits, bro. It, it runs, runs sand, sand troller. It, it runs fucking sand troller. Wait, dude. that's actually it's so sick. cool. I plugged it in and it got recognized. I'm like, "What? It's a Sand Troller Rock Band stage kit." That's so, so wild. Yeah, 
Shout out Sanjay. But there was no Holy setup. Yeah, you just Sanjay. Yeah, literally, there was literally no setup. You plug it in, you play Yarg, that's it. That's it. You that's know what? You that's incredible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna initiate in there a public call out. If you sell anything that uses Sand Troll or a guitar configurator and you're not crediting Sanjay, credit him right now. Do Your it. product wouldn't exist without him. I'm, that I'm is sure, all. Thank I'm you. sure, bro. I I think I'm pretty sure, bro, like has been subscribed to Sanjay for a while. I think he's Oh no, I I'm not yeah. worried about him. This is this is a yeah. general call out. Oh yeah, I get it, I get it. These get people it. know these people know who they are. <laughs> right. Yeah, this this thing is a really cool piece of tech. Um for a V1 especially but very nice can't wait one more to small vape. thing to one more oh yeah did you want to bring up your the, Walmart story uh well that and I also wanted to show off this part of uh this this is actually what got me thinking about St. Paul this is a new proposed <laughs> library card for the, for the St. Paul public what libraries <laughs> yo <laughs> yo fuck? read read uh, I don't know if it's going to actually happen, but I believe that's a proposed image. I'd that's a pretty good image that, if the, I were the mayor I'm of St. Paul. I yeah, want that's it. The, uh, I'd make it. That's Minnesota. our state bird, baby. That's the loon. Reed. That's pretty good. Yeah, reed. the loon. Laser eyes. The loon. Yeah. It's the loon. Yeah. The Minnesota loon laser I bought, eyes. I bought, a, I bought a stuffed loon just for Rosie, and she loved it. Oh, shit. I think you can, you can get this right now. Really? Oh. It exists. Oh, wow. Limited supply. Nice. nice. Oh fuck. I, pff, shit, man, Let's I could go. go get one of these fucking things. Yeah. See ya. I gotta go get a fuck. That's sick. Man, I mm. kind of want to go read now. Yeah. Okay. So the Walmart thing I want to talk about. We were talking pre-show about. I don't even remember how we got talking about Walmart. But it was, oh, we were talking about the kiosks. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the Walmart kiosk back in the day, where the TV was mounted way too fucking high, and the controller was mounted on the wall, so you had to like hold the controller and stare at the ceiling pretty much to see the screen. Um. I, I have a one of my favorite YouTube search queries is Guitar Hero Walmart because it's just videos from 14, 15, 16 years ago of people playing the That's Guitar Hero fire. kiosks what? in Walmart. And it's like, it's super like genuine. Like it's not people like us that are going crazy. It's just regular people sure, playing yeah. Guitar Hero, having fun. Oh, this fun. is so fire. What? There's so many of these. There are so <laughs> many. You could do Guitar no Hero Walmart, Guitar way. Hero GameStop. There's a dad dude just playing it. There's a dude playing it behind his fucking back on a Guitar Hero 2 kiosk with a PS2 SG. Oh, this is so fire. What? This is like a small glimpse into the pop culture effect that the games yeah. had. This is a time capsule straight up. Yeah, that's neat. Uh, it's it. It's so hard to explain if somebody wasn't there just how nope. like ubiquitous it was. Like if you walk into a game store... You saw Guitar Hero. Like... Yeah, it was everywhere. It was unavoidable. Yes. Well, obviously it was unavoidable because you had these big-ass fucking boxes just sitting everywhere taking up all the shelf space when you walk past the electronics aisles. And you can hear the songs. You can hear the clicking. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a very cool little piece of our history, I think. And uh, this perfectly encapsulates what it was like to, to live... During that time, just existing at the same time as all these yeah. cool games, and I think it's a very it, it, it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. You know, it, it fills me with warmth. This is a video of this guy and his friend. They're playing with a Warriors of Rock guitar outside of Walmart. Cool. Acoustic Side? guitar hero. Acoustic that Jarvis guitar vibes. hero. Man. Acoustic oh, I guitar see it. hero. Let's I go. See it. Bro bought the bundle and then brought it outside. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just being way too optimistic and hopeful, but I still think we could have it again. I really do. Maybe it's too so optimistic. Too. Maybe it's too hopeful, but Riffmaster save us. Let's see what the new mode in, in festival looks like in a few months. And I've Can't got I've got some hope. So Fingers crossed. So Let's like hope, man. patient Wait. and man like... can dream. Dream big. Dream on. Oh wow. All right, Aerosmith. This one. Dude, okay, this one, and you can see all the rock, you can see the rock band bundles at the very beginning of the video. Oh my too. god. This is yeah, the, oh, the PS3 and Xbox ones with the different colors. Yeah. Just a little Ooh. child not knowing what he's doing, just hitting the drums because it's just fun to hit drums. This, kid, this, dude's, probably got a, this dude's probably got a whole family. and <laughs> Yeah, this is right around Christmas time, you can tell. This is such a low effort kiosk. This is as so well. cute. <laughs> Can't even see the TV because it's mounted way too fucking high like we were talking before. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I'm gonna break these kids' necks. Come on. Straight up. 
Man, Crazy. that's adorable. Mm-hmm. Man, that yeah, that that's a good one. Guitar Hero Walmart. Yeah, I love that. Man, this is yeah, a Guitar Hero Walmart fucking goes low different. quality one. Jesus Christ! Oh my God, dude's playing, dude, dude recording with a Nokia. It's the only <laughs> yeah. video on well, his yeah. channel from 15, 16 years ago. Oh what no, else no, did no you have? Too- Pure Pinoy Skill. YouTube channel. His name is YouTube channel. <laughs> Shit sucks. All right, anyway. Holy moly. Hey, we had Anyways. a great little uh, discussion this week. Yeah, damn yeah. right. Oh, yeah. It was good. Oof. Yeah, so uh, catch us next week when we hit double digits, baby. We're getting to 20 episodes. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and we're playing uh, Festival Season 2. We're, we're playing Festival Season 2. Two. Season 2, baby. Yeah, oh, sure it's happening. We're going we're gonna to have happening. like one We're gonna have one day of, of mileage on Festival Season 2 by the time we talk about it next. Oh, I'll have so. a couple. Full day. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're going to be couple, well, couple, two couple, days. Yeah. yeah, two days. Yeah. But, yeah so we'll be able to talk It's going to come out in the morning. It's gonna come out in the yeah, morning. It's gonna be in the morning. I think yeah. it's gonna actually come Thursday out in the morning. morning yeah. yeah, nine a.m. Oh yeah. A.m. Also, Eastern. yes, I will. I will be able to join in the morning. Hell yeah! Let's yeah, run it. Hell good. yeah! We're let's gonna go. run it back. I, I gotta see if I can still. But we'll, I asked my board. wife just to be just to take um, our child to school, and so and I was like, "Can I stay home and play my video game?" And she's like, "Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I know okay, it's fine. important That's to you. Right. This is I for know. our family." <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, if you just put it that way, it's no, way. yeah, no, no, no. I think it's, it's just funny. Can I stay home and play my video game? <laughs> yeah. Honey, honey, this pays our bills. This is important. I need this. Can Do you I like stay home and play food? Fortnite, please? Do you like having a <laughs> roof over your head? <laughs> Do you like, Do you like the having light, a car the light, to drive? The lights on. <laughs> <laughs> I need to play Fortnite then. <laughs> you want to take a hot shower? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I well, need to play too, Fortnite. Too bad. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, oh, everybody. Bye. Yeah, See you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Goodbye.